So today we'll be uh, working on our patient here who was found to have a funny looking mole on his arm and a dermatologist did a biopsy which showed that it was a melanoma type of a skin cancer and these types of skin cancers can sometimes travel to other parts of the body. That's called a metastasis. So what we'll be doing today is removing where that melanoma skin cancer was growing and we'll also be doing a sentinel lymph node biopsy which will tell us the likelihood of that melanoma having had traveled to another part of the body. The first step to this is actually a trip to the nuclear medicine department. We're going to inject this radio tracer into the area around where the cancer is growing. Okay. This is technetium, and this will help us to find the lymph nodes that this is most likely to go to if it does. When things travel from one part of the body to the next, it usually likes to take the freeway, which- You mean the freeway that, does he drive a car on the freeway? Kind of like, uh, yep, yeah, if you drive a car from one place to another that's a little bit far away, then you take a freeway to get there, that's the fastest way to get there. Lymph nodes are kind of like that, so the lymphatics or the lymph uh, nodes are the areas that it goes to. And we'll put him into our gamma camera. It will take pictures of where that radio tracer will travel from the melanoma site to the nearest lymph nodes. We'll have a radiologist read the films and you can go home. And now we have our patient in the OR and he's asleep under general anesthesia and we're ready to do our procedure. So the first thing is, remember we talked about that we are going to be looking at the lymph nodes which are kind of like the freeway of the body. It's so going down. Here's the melanoma, and if those melanoma cancer cells were to travel to other parts of the body, like the lungs or anywhere else, they generally like to go through these freeways. And so what we'll do is inject a little bit of blue dye into this area, and that will help us in addition to following the radio tracer to see which of those lymph nodes are most likely to have the cancer if it's there. So we're gonna inject blue dye, and we're gonna inject it right into where the melanoma is. So the blue dye is helpful because it helps us as the surgeon to see with our eyes which lymph nodes that melanoma uh, may have gone to visually. We're going to be using this gamma probe. It's not a probe, it's just raw. <laughs> That's gonna be a probe today. This will help us to find the uh, radio tracer in the lymph node. So you to the lymph nodes and we'll check. Ready? Woo, woo, oh, I see woo, the bump. Woo, woo. There's the bump. Yep, so there's an area that looks very suspicious there. Let's check around. Woo, 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 woo. Wow, there's a lot of radio tracer there. So here are these two areas that would be most suspicious and that's where we'll be going in. And what do you see? A vein. It looks like a vein because veins are blue, you're right, but what we're seeing here is lymph node. Woo, 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 woo. So it looks like we're good. And we'll send this off to the pathologist. Woo, 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 woo. Looks like there's another one there, so we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, okay. Woo, woo, woo. What's this? So those were the channels that was taking the dye into the lymph node. So here's where melanoma cancer is. And at this point, we're gonna do a wide local excision because we take a wide area around it. I thought we were going to a football shape. That's, you're absolutely right. So that's the, about the margin around. We're gonna make it into a football shape. So it's actually easier to sew back together again after. So something like this. Now, when we cut out melanomas, we usually go through the subcutaneous fat and we tr want to try to remove all the fat down to the fascia. We have some bleeding vessels. Better zap them. Bzz, zap. Zap. Okay, you got him. 
See how we got the melanoma? We got the skin around it that for the margin. Like it does look like an eyeball. And then the fat, and we went all the way down to the we're fascial layer. It. Yep, next thing we do is we sew it. Sew it up, leave them a nice looking scar. So we removed our melanoma, we removed the two lymph nodes, uh, and we'll have them sent to be checked under the microscope by our pathologist. Now our patient can wake can up and go home. Look?